we're approaching about two minutes since we've gone live. I just want to try to give it another minute before I actually start. But uh, I'm not going to delay much longer. All right, well, again, we've been uh, live now for two minutes. And first of all, I want to say welcome uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Luis Castillo, and I've been looking forward to this moment for, for quite a while. Uh, it was about a week ago that I tried to actually do this, and I was having quite a bit of uh, technical difficulty. And I was not able to have, for some reason, my laptop communicate with the uh, Facebook platform. But uh, thank goodness I was able to solve that. Um, again, I want to take a few minutes and not rush into this and let as many people log on as possible or before we begin. So I just want to say thank you, first of all, uh, for those of you who will be uh, joining us this evening. Um, we will not be on very long. Um, this is mostly an informational uh, broadcast. I've had a number of people who have already uh, joined us at RPM Coaching and Mentoring. And to my surprise, quite a few international uh, members have become uh, part of that group. And I so appreciate uh, their trust and their confidence in, in me and uh, those that are supporting me uh, to bring to you uh, everything that is necessary to help you advance in your ministry uh, particularly in regards to the fivefold ministry. Okay, I think we're we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I'd like to start off by sharing my heart with you about RPM coaching and mentoring by explaining, first of all, this Facebook page, as well as our website, so you can fully understand what we are trying to accomplish with each of these social uh, media platforms. Afterwards, uh, I'll take the time to share with you uh, the vision of RPM, and then I'll try to answer as many questions as possible today so that uh, you can get to know uh, me and I can get to know you a, a little better. So when you log in, just feel free to post your questions uh, as I'm speaking. And once your questions have been answered, I'd like to release uh, a prayer at the end of this broadcast, a prayer of blessing over each of you that have joined me uh, this evening. So let's just open this uh, session tonight up in prayer and invite the Holy Spirit in, okay? The word of the Lord says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now I shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in a desert. I invite you, Holy Spirit, to manifest your presence in each home that is represented on this live broadcast, I ask that the angels of God will be released on our behalf to scatter the airways and disrupt any communications and activities of the enemy and to halt any word curses that may be released with the intent to interfere or interrupt this broadcast. I send out the word of the Lord to each home and declare that the blood of Jesus covers you protects you. And I declare that you are all overcomers. No weapon devised by the en enemy will succeed in distracting you or bringing you any harm. As of now, I declare that you are resting under the shadow of the wings of Jehovah. I declare that your spiritual ears are anointed to hear what the Lord has to say to you at this time. During this broadcast, may the Spirit of the Lord confirm to your spirit what he has in mind for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My desire today is to provide an overview of the operations of RPM coaching and mentoring so you can fully understand what I believe God has established us to do in the earth. Our primary vehicle for carrying out our mission is the internet. There is a tremendous amount of leverage at our disposal by using social media to project the word of God and reveal the heart of the Father. 
The arrival of the uh, COVID pandemic has demonstrated to many churches and ministries that God's plans cannot be halted or delayed by the enemy, no matter what his plans or tactics are. We should also take note that it wasn't a coincidence that the enemy implemented this worldwide pandemic at such a time. I pray that the Lord will give you eyes to see and the spirit of discernment to understand that we are not to be distracted by the things that we are seeing in the natural. There's a great deal that is going on in the spirit realm at this time that is the cause of what we are seeing in the natural. These are the days that God has established for the restoring of his church to a prominent place in society, the place that it should have been occupying for decades now, but has not. No longer is the church going to function without authority, power, finances, and influence. The government of God has a blueprint that must be taught and understood and then implemented and adhered to in order for us to see once again what has been documented in the book of Acts for us to see and to study. The first century church, if you take a look at the book of Acts, turned the world upside down in spite of the world power at the time, which was the Roman Empire. We're on the verge of seeing that happen once again. The enemy knows this and he's running scared. He's resorting to his old tactic of deception, strife, and division. But I want you to be encouraged. We will not be swayed. RPM coaching and mentoring is one of the many tools that God is using in these last days to see to it that his bride is restored and brought to maturity. Organizations like ours are not here to undo what churches and pastors have been doing for years. Rather, we have the assignment of bringing the fullness of the revelation of the fivefold ministry back to the church. I believe that one of the reasons we are not seeing the church functioning in all the authority and power that it has been given by God is because the blueprint and infrastructure implemented by the first century church is no longer being followed. As a result, we're seeing about, in my opinion, 20% of the church's potential currently at work. Now imagine, if you will, how effective would the average family be if they could only access 20% of everything they currently have access to and needed at this time? It's not a pretty picture. This brings us to the purpose of our gathering today. And I won't take long in sharing with you what I have in mind. I simply intend to invite you and show you how to make use of both our Facebook page as well as our website so you can link up with us and others like yourself so we can all learn and become familiar with God's blueprint and function as a well-equipped army that can enforce Christ's victory at Calvary. So let's begin with our website. If you're not familiar with our website, you can simply go to rpmadvisor.com. This rpmadvisor.com. This website is a resource center that is committed to providing information that will assist pastors and ministers in seeing the establishment and advancement of the kingdom of God in the seven spheres of influence through the restoration of the fivefold ministry in the local church. The church model is clearly outlined in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7 through 13, and displayed in the book of Acts. We currently have the Bride of Christ operating with approximately 20% of its potential authority and power simply due to the fact that churches are operating mostly under the pastor as leader model. Now, please hear my heart. I'm in no way intending to denigrate the value and contribution of past or current pastors. But clearly, we would be seeing a lot more of what was commonplace in the first century church if the fivefold model 
with its giftings and anointings were in operation in the local church today. The most visible benefit uh, for lo of local churches operating under the leadership and influence of the fivefold model of Ephesians 4 is the kingdom of God reclaiming communities from the forces of darkness. This will be accomplished through each office of the fivefold, discipling others and preparing them to conduct what I call strategic level spiritual warfare, to invade and occupy the seven mountains of influence through the manifestation of all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Through the fivefold ministry, the kingdom of God would be better equipped and trained to transform a nation, home by home, neighborhood by neighborhood, city by city, region by region. Part of this campaign would involve training intercessors to confront the local principalities which would pave the way for a more prominent and effective church presence. This, I believe, is one of the reasons why we will soon be having regular online classes to learn about effective intercessory prayer sessions that we hope will be attended by pastors of all denominations and others in the community. I have to admit there are still a number of learning products that are in the process of being developed, but we're committed to seeing those brought uh, to the website and to this Facebook very shortly. But for the time being, if you're intent on transforming your ministry and community, then I highly recommend that you begin with the boot camp series that is currently available on the website. By completing both phases one and two, you're going to have a good foundation to build upon as you progress and complete the other courses that we will be making available very shortly. As you complete each course, you'll be gathering on our Facebook page for further mentoring. As a matter of fact, speaking of Facebook, well, let's take a look at that real quick. We currently have several groups that you can join that focus on specific aspects of the fivefold ministry. Our current groups are designed to align with the following interest groups. Fivefold ministry boot camp, prophetic ministry, intercessory prayer, dream interpretation, and the seven mountain mandate. These groups are meant to serve as a gathering place for you as you complete various courses available through RPM coaching and mentoring. This is where we hope iron will sharpen iron and you'll be able to connect with others in your community who share your passion and have also completed the courses. The days of being disconnected, isolated with limited resources and even suspicious of other ministries, this has to come to an end. Denominational barriers must be permanently brought down. This tactic of, of the enemy must be exposed and abolished once and for all. As followers of our Facebook page, you will, act, you will receive automatic announcements uh, for any and all live sessions and other learning resources and events. So if you're not currently a follower, please be sure to become one today. Also, if you're pastoring a church or um, you have your own ministry, please be sure to instruct others to do so as well. Remember, Pastor, God does not expect you to be all things to all people. You don't have all the anointings or operate in all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Learn how to point people in the right direction to get the help they need. Doing so is not an admission of failure on your part, and it doesn't mean that you're going to lose your church. By the way, don't hesitate to promote your church or ministry activities right here on his Facebook page as well. One of the things the enemy doesn't want is for God's people to be in fellowship and unity. Just take a look around you today. There is such a spirit of strife and division in our nation. Don't think that it's not going to impact the church. But I'm telling you, if, if we prepare for it and we plan for it, we can turn this thing to our advantage. Please don't let doctrine keep you from partnering with other churches and ministries. I want to encourage you to network with other churches and ministries through the groups we have set up 
and our, uh, and our online sessions. The topics we'll be presenting and discussing on our Facebook page will cover a, a full range of subjects that are relevant to the church today. Again, our Facebook page is meant to provide a platform for further discussion of the subjects that we will be teaching through the materials we offer on our website. I want you to think of our website as a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, personal online classroom. And our Facebook page will be your group learning center as you share with others what God has been doing in your life through the application of what you have recently learned. In other words, this is where we're going to do life together. This is where we're going to share testimonies, uh, pray for each other, help each other overcome obstacles that we're facing. By the way, I also recommend that you post your reviews of the products that you're going to be purchasing from the website and using, as well as the coaching and mentoring you're going to be receiving from myself and those that support me. Your testimony and recommendations will go a long way in attracting others who take part in what God is doing. One of the reasons so many people are leaving the church is because inside the church doesn't look any different than the rest of the world. People need to encounter God through you and experience the love and especially the power of the Father. If you are still wondering what God has called me and his organization to do, then let me share with you what he spoke to me through a prophet that was introduced to me, and I hope by sharing this word that it will encourage you as well. So here's the word that the prophet of God released to me. I see a bunch of keys hanging over your head. I see the key of David, the key that I have given you. You'll open doors even for others, not just for you. What you cause to happen for others, God will cause to happen for you. You've done it before and you'll do it again. I've kept an open door for you that no man can shut. And what you shut, no man can open. And the Lord is authorizing you to open it for many people, for many ministries, many churches. I see closed churches reopening because of you. Closed churches, closed moves of God, revival, prayer, prayer that has been shut down in many places, but you're going to reopen it prophetically. You're going to take the key and do a prophetic act. It is going to open in those churches, even for children, you're going to open. Open wealth. God is trusting you. God is trusting you with the wealth of the nations. And I see you in Israel. I see nations of the world supporting those children, taking care of those children, supporting ministries that take care of these children, even the destitute, even those that are prostituted, even those that are institutionalized. You're going to be taking care of them, taking care of all of them, rescuing them. There's going to be rescue operations that are going to be birthed. God is going to put instructions in your heart, and you're going to do it. But I want you to know the best is yet to come. An apostolic and prophetic mandate, a company of apostles and prophets will surround you. Even as David was surrounded by prophets, you're going to be surrounded with prophetic people. You'll be surrounded with prophetic voices around you. You will raise prophetic intercessors around you. Now go. Go with the strength of the Lord that God has given you, and you will do great exploits. Great exploits. God is going to use you for ministry to build his kingdom, to build his church in Jesus' name. And I see a company of prophetic apostolic marketplace people. There are businessmen who are going to release, be released into the kingdom of God. That was the word I received not that long ago. And it was pretty overwhelming when I first heard it, but it resonated with me. And I took it to heart. I accepted the challenge. I figured if this is what God wants to do, then I know the only thing I need to do is make myself available. And that's what I'm asking you guys to do. Whatever God is giving you to do, make yourself available. Become a part of what God is doing in these last days. Scripture has clearly told us that there's going to be an outpouring of God's Spirit upon the earth before the return of Christ. And we also know that when Christ does return for his bride, he is not coming for a bride, 
that's going to be unequally yoked. He's not coming back for a bride that's broken and disgusted. No, he's coming back for a glorious, powerful bride. To be honest, folks, the bride's not ready. Again, I'm not demeaning anything that so many ministries have done for decades. But take a look at the bride and be honest. Is she ready for the groom to receive her? So there you have it. I hope I've been able to clearly share with you my heart and the mission God has assigned to me to accomplish through RPM coaching and mentoring. I also hope that some of this resonates with you and inspires you to stand firm in your calling. Know that God is moving and he is aligning people from all over the world to partner with him in these last days so he can work through them to equip and mature his bride and to establish his kingdom in all nations and in the process overthrowing the many strongholds and systems that Satan has erected. You are part of that remnant that God is preparing so you may receive the outpouring of his spirit and take part in the billion soul harvest. Well, I thank you for for being here with me today, for listening uh, with what I had to say, uh, the things that God has put on my heart. And if you have any questions at all, again, you can just uh, leave a comment on the Facebook page. If you go to my website, my phone number is there. Feel free to call or to email me. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say and to seeing how we can partner together in advancing the kingdom of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. In closing, I'd like to release this prayer over you. And then we'll end this broadcast. And as I said earlier, I look forward to hearing from you. I declare that you are the manifestation, the product, and the result of God's word. God has spoken into your life, and as a result, you have become the manifest presence of Jehovah God on earth. You are manifesting everything the word of God says you are. You are filled with the word of life. The word of God is in you, and it's not written in ink, but by the spirit of the living God that is upon your heart. The word of God in you is a quickening spirit, keeping you alive. I declare that you will receive the blessings that accompany the word of God. I decree that these blessings become operational in your life immediately. I ask now for a speedy physical manifestation of the result of these blessings in your life. You are not an image of failure. You have been created to be the head and not the tail. You are the salt of the earth. On the inside of you is the excellency of the power of God. God has put this feature of his power within you. The word of God has transformed you into an iron pillar, a city that cannot be conquered. Your presence, let me tell you, it terrifies the enemy. He trembles at your sight and he trembles at the sound of your voice, which the Lord has empowered. For it is written, wherever the voice of the king is heard and you are a king, there is authority being exercised. I declare that you believe with all your heart the power that lies in the word of God. And as a result, with your mouth, you make confessions of faith, not fear. Therefore, whenever you go into prayer, let the word of God be released swiftly to perform your request and to bring about the desired results in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So again, I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your home into your place of business, wherever you've gathered tonight. And I hope that what I was able to share with you tonight has touched your heart. And I do look forward to, to hearing from you. Again, as I said earlier, you can follow us on our Facebook page, join one of our private groups. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to our newsletter on our website and just reach out to us. Let us know uh, what God has you doing in these days and uh, give us an opportunity to get to know you better and to partner with you. So I just bless you tonight in the name of Jesus. And again, 
Thank you for joining me on this broadcast. Amen.